Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Mega Man Fan Game Sampler live stream. I'm streaming today for a number of reasons. Number one, in celebration of Mega Man's 29th anniversary. Wow. Number two, this is the first time it's really snowed where I live, so a winter slash holiday themed live stream would be appropriate, especially given the season. And number three, Sprites Inc. recently awarded me the prestigious Spike Award for live streaming excellence <clears throat> so we'll uh, we'll see how uh, well I can uh, hold up my reputation this time you've been listening to a selection of music uh, one from ocremix.org Mega Man 03 Frosty Wilderness by Timaeus 222 and not from OC Remix, Mega Man 10 Chilled to the Core by E-Tank. I've got four or five games, maybe, depending. Uh, there may be a late entry into the uh, stream, and they're all winter and holiday themed, and they're all Mega Man fan games, so we're going to get started with one called Mega Man vs. Iceman. Let's see how this goes. Oh, now I need to... Uh, read you the uh, author comments here. This is my fifth game that I have put on Newgrounds, and I decided to do a tribute to Mega Man. I apologize for the file size. I could make it smaller, blah, 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 blah. Uh, controls, blah, blah, blah. Just so you guys know, the controls are unresponsive, quote, because you're running on ice. I used a simulation of sliding. <laughs> That's physics, not lag. So, <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll see how this goes. Let's start game. Mega Man, how did you get here? I'll have to destroy you for trespassing on my iceberg and wearing the same outfit as me. Boing. <laughs> I should probably move my microphone so that I'm, uh... Holy cats. They were not kidding about the lag. I also should have remembered what button was jump. <laughs> I don't think I'm even going to get to fighting Iceman. I suspect I'm going to be defeated by the snowman. Help! <laughs> My jump button isn't working. <laughs> yep, this is uh, a great way to start a professional live stream. <laughs> oh boy, I did it! Hooray! I what? No, get get away from there. <laughs> Hello, my wife, Sea Saber, leaning over my shoulder, watching me be assassinated by snowballs. Yes, that looked like maybe it did some damage. And I like how I've got, like, hundreds of health. Jump! Well, that didn't seem to do any good. <laughs> oh! Curse you, authentic ice physics. <laughs> Where have I even got- Am I off screen? Oh man, can I do better? Hiding off stream? Uh, <laughs> can I do better off stream? Yes, probably. Um, I'm just going to casually hide over here off the edge, and maybe he won't be able to hit me. <laughs> I can totally do this. <laughs> Ow. Yeah, maybe not so much. Ow. <laughs> Turn around. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to win this one. <laughs> By the way, we're not playing any other games until we beat this one, that's the rule. Or I guess until the game beats me, which is more likely. You loose! I'm too loose! <laughs> Alright. Maybe foot loose, because you're sliding all over the place. So, let's try another game, shall we? <laughs> oh, what did we have on tap? Let me move my window back up here so I can see. Oh yes, so the next one in the rotation, get ready for the huge list of Mega Man fan games spilling over into the chat window, is Mega Man Winter Edition. Again, appropriate. There's a fun little loading screen here that I can't show you right now of Mega Man and his different running, jumping animations wearing a blue Santa hat. It's pretty cute. Uh, let's get out of that full screen mode. Here we go, Mega Man Winter Edition, Druck Enter! But I drive a car. I don't have a druck. Nobody told me the system requirements for this game. Oh, druk enter. Yes. Uh, let's go with this. Chill woman. Or what? Like Schneefrau? If we're going for German. All right, snow woman. Guess. They're right. You can't tell me what to do. Okay, well, that kind of 
Whee! Okay, you are totally appropriate for this guy. Hello! Also, chat, as usual, let me know about the audio balance. I'm usually too loud, the game is too quiet, but... I'm trying to get this uh, sorted out so that I don't need to adjust it midstream every time. Woo! So, I'm, I'm a big fan of visual distraction in games, if the challenges are relatively simple enough. Like, the snow in the background, that's cool. That's good for something like this. But we've basically just got the same two enemies over and over again so far. Different level architecture, which is good, but no real chance to warm up and really understand the patterns high uh, if you're not familiar with these kinds of enemies. Yep. Uh, I'm just gonna stay here. <laughs> oh, the game is too loud this time. Just adjusted that a little. Let me know how you go. Bye, Z-Saber. Whoa. I just kind of slid down the, uh, the ladder there. I have no special weapons, I have no option to pause that I'm aware of. Uh -huh, and I have no control over my walking. Let's try that one again. I can turn down the game volume again. I'll uh, give chat lag a second to uh, adjust the new volume. It was at 90%, now it's at 70 controls here are okay. Um, I saw on the title screen that it was example by Blyke, I believe what it said. And I'm assuming this uses Blyke's engine. And the physics feel okay. Definitely better than the last game! Uh, because, for me, responsive control is almost more important than anything else in a Mega Man game. Like, obviously it needs to be you know, playable enough to get you to the end, but if you can't control what you're doing, then, uh, as we saw with, what was it, Mega Man Battle? Could have been a lot of fun, but I had no control over whatsoever, so, well, minimal control. So it didn't really matter what I did. Whee! I love his little antsy ladder dance. Uh, okay, that's not a lot of room to jump. Shoot, 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 shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. These are the waste my time blocks. Okay, now, aha! Uh -huh. Okay, now, they're actually, I should have stood on the other side and fired and jumped. Uh, I do not have a Buster replica, sorry to say. You can't jump off the ladder here, which makes it interesting. My, uh, my whole ladder technique is, needs to be readjusted. Not a good way to introduce spikes. It, it's funny, since, um, since getting a lot of feedback on... Ow! Harsh! Okay. We'll treat spikes like that. Yep. Yeah, didn't think there was going to be a checkpoint yet. Um, you know, since my my contributions to Mega Man Endless make a good Mega Man level contest, I've become more and more aware of the value of gearing up a player for the challenges. Like, even if the challenges are ones that are very familiar, if they've been in every other Mega Man game, like if it's water, if it's spikes, if it's Sniper Joes, and everybody's played them, you know, anybody who's played a Mega Man game knows how to fight them and handle them. There's still an importance of warming the player up to what you expect them to do in this game. And especially for the benefit of players who haven't played the games with uh, those obstacles and enemies. So here, these are perfectly fine challenges. Like, this, this would have been an okay uh, level to have, like, later in a game, maybe. Where you're already introduced to the idea of you know, what your jump height is, how spikes operate, that kind of thing. But it's a little much just to throw you into it. That's an interesting... I didn't notice the sound effect before. Ah! That still didn't do any good. That's right. How do I rate Mega Man X's intro stage? Mega Man X's intro stage is probably the best intro stage. Well, not probably. I think it really is the best intro stage out of any Mega Man game. Wow, I didn't even jump there! I'm gonna give this one or two more tries, and then I'll switch on to the next one. Because it slowly introduces you to... I mean, uh, who is it? Um, one of those... You know, there are other people on YouTube. Uh, one of those other people, uh, Ego Rap, did a great video about why uh, Mega Man X's intro stage, stage is brilliant. Uh, and so basically everything he says I agree with. Uh, 
I'm also a fan of designing your games so that the likelihood of you dying instantly... Or actually, I'm sorry, the, the difficulty of the challenge is proportionate to the consequences for failure. But if it's a super, super difficult challenge, that the game is a little more lenient about what happens if you do fail. And if it's relatively easy to get past, or if you should at this point in the game have a lot of experience dealing with this, the penalties for failure are harsher, but it's less likely that you'll fail. Yeah, I'm not a button masher, so I always have problems with these. Uh, can I turn the volume down further? Yes, I can. Have I heard of Build-A-Store? Is that like Build-A-Bear? Eh. No! Should've waited. I'm gonna give this one more try, then we're switching to the next game. In which case, this will be a really short stream. You know, heck with my health. Uh, actually, okay, I can't even get past this. We're gonna give this two more tries. <laughs> uh, yes, I remember most of the people have not... Well, yeah. I remember most of the people in chat. Some of you look unfamiliar to me. Maybe I've never seen you before. And thank you for being here. It's super cool to have an audience. Yeah, Cosmic Gem is working on another fan game that might be ready by the end of the stream, but at this rate, I may not be on here long enough for <laughs> Cosmic to finish. Uh, yes, I could have gone after that help. I'm getting progressively worse at this stage now. I think that's the other thing, that if you have one section, and it's just that one section where you die, you don't die anywhere else. The fatigue of needing to play through the stuff that you're already pretty decent at Wow! Really gets to you. And then you start getting sloppy. Okay, this will be the last try. And then we'll move on to the next game, for real. Whoa! Well, I play Mega Man Sprite Christmas. Uh, that one doesn't sound familiar to me. If you message me with the link... I can add it to the list for next time. I'm not going to play every winter holiday game for this stream now. Yeah, I knew that was going to hit me there. Why did I stand there? Uh, yeah, I thought it would be like two hours, but I was, uh... Given that my streams usually last like three hours, I figured this was a shorter one, so probably two hours. Uh, but given that I'm not really <laughs> making good enough progress on here and there don't seem to be any uh, real checkpoints so far, I may not get to the end of this one. And that's the thing with live streaming, is always trying to balance how long to draw out the same stage. Like, if I'm dying a lot, at what point do I say, you know what, this is no longer fun for the audience, I should probably move on to something else. Eh, almost made that time. But then there's also the, like, the gaming historian me who, historian in me, who wants to catalog these games. Oh, no, don't do it! Oh, crying out loud. Okay. So I can't actually get past them, because the knockback is too much. But that is progress, and because I made progress, I'm going to lie again about when I'm going to stop this. And I'll keep going. Ah, this is also buying Cosmic a little bit of time. <laughs> Snake Man, his stage, and his music. I like Snake Man. Uh, I would give him a, I don't know, a forked tongue out of ten. Pro Jared scale. Ow. Okay. You can also. I knew I was gonna get hit there. Why would I do that? Whee! All right. So we will try to get close to the hard hats and actually attack them to destroy them before we are destroyed. And really, when was the last time you saw anyone pummeled to death by hard hats? Uh, 
This challenge down here is a decent one. It would be better if there were special weapons yeah. that you could use to speed through. And watch me die instantly. You know, that is not an appropriate place for you to fall. So this is good. Offer me some power-ups now. Wah. And this is good because you're probably going to be frantically... Arg frantically uh, button mashing at this point, so you'll probably hit more of the eggs than you really want to. What? There was totally a hole for me to jump into, so help me if they... No, that's it. We're done with this game. <laughs> that would have been a perfect place to put a checkpoint, like after the hardest part of the level, then there's a checkpoint. Oh well. Um, let's fire up the next thing. What could the next thing be? Heck if I know. Sprite Inc. presents! What do I think is the worst Mega Man game excluding Mega Man X7? I'm not a big fan of Mega Man Extreme 2. Not a big fan. Uh, Mega Man 1 for Game Boy. Most no, actually, no, that one's better. But yeah, I think Extreme 2 is probably bottom of my list. That looks ominous. Who could that be? Also, let me know how the volume is on here. Hey! Where have the presents gone? You... <clears throat> you ungrateful brats! Wait, where is this accent coming from? Do you really think you've earned these gifts? No. You have displeased me this year, which is why I'm giving you this terrible accent to read this cutscene in. Perhaps the spirits of Christmas will- I can't get out of this terrible accent. Help. <laughs> Come, Mega Man, fight! Mega Man, Christmas Carol! Let's make sure we set up the controls properly. Uh, we're gonna press up, then down, then left, then right, then yump, then fire. I don't use quick slide, it gets me into trouble. We're gonna start... Hooray, press... No, press jump to reset. I just read press jump. I'm so terrible. This is a slightly cumbersome kind of... Uh, control setup. There's a lot of text on the screen, I think, which is what confused me. Start to continue. Here we go. So, uh, Mega Man Christmas Carol. You may be familiar with Mega Man Christmas Carol Remix, which I will also be playing, and we'll compare the two. Uh, this one I've actually played before, and I have enjoyed. So we'll give this a shot and see what happens. And I think I will calibrate the volume up a little bit more back to where it was. Again, let me know about the volume. So, we have difficulty settings. Uh, um, wait a second. My joy to key does not seem to be here. It should be set properly. Something happened. Don't know what happened. Okay. Let's try this again. Oh, if it's not responding to commands, click on the game area. Maybe that's what happened. Yes, here we go. Yay! Alright, so we have difficulty. Baby mode! Nice! Easy mode, okay. So, in general, in the official Mega Man games, I'm not a big fan of multiple difficulty settings. Uh, I, I feel like... Uh, <laughs> nice. Uh, I feel like the official Mega Man games have a group of 
people designing them who are familiar with what is appropriate for a Mega Man game, that there's more or less a consistency difficulty, a consistent difficulty from game to game, give or take a couple. Uh, but with fan games, you've got people who maybe have never made a game before, people who have a completely different skill set than the average gamer. Maybe they're way better or way worse, or just have a different type of uh, style of game that they prefer, and can't really gauge what's appropriate for a general audience. So in fan games, I'm all over having a difficulty setting, because this really does calibrate it to what kind of a gamer are you, not like the official Mega Man games, where it's Mega Man games are hard, but we can just make them blatantly unfair so they're not fun anymore, or we can make them so easy and just give everything away so that people who really otherwise wouldn't be able to get into the series are just handed the series on a platter. So, I'm in the interest of making this as short as possible to get through uh, each of the games as quickly as possible. I'm going to do this on the hardest mode. Uh, because we'll just die, and then that'll be the end of that. So pick a stage, somebody! Do we want to go to the, uh, the Marley stage? We gotta go to Ghost of Past, Present, Future? And if you have no idea what this is all about, uh, you can read Charles Dickens. You can, uh, watch him up at Christmas Carol. There's a couple of different places you can get informed about what's going on. Uh, let's see, come on. Marley! I saw Marley first. doo doo, -doo. Ghost of Jacob Marley! Cute. Pretty. <laughs> Exit. That's the fastest way to quit the game. Um, so that's interesting. I thought I configured this to have a jump and attack button, but I can only move left and right at the moment. Uh, huh. This is funny. I tested everything. And everything worked. And now nothing works. And I'm really trying to figure out why that is. So I'm going to, once again, reload the game and try and get this working. Ah, uh, yes. This is what the uh, Spike Award indicates you're in for when uh, live streaming. <laughs> High quality professionalism. Oh now I can't even now I can't even skip the intro cutscene. Ay ay ay. Come on, set up controls. This is up, this is down, this is left, this is right, jump is this button, fire, quick slide we don't need, start, 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 start. Oh, you know what? Maybe that's it. Maybe the what difficulty takes away your ability to jump and fire. That would be the ultimate hard mode. Yeah, I know the uh, Flash version doesn't save your controls, but even just in testing, after I configured controls, the controls worked. Yay! Okay, there's just a little bit of delay now. So we'll see what happens. Doo 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 doo. Boom! Now that is a teleportation animation. Or maybe we was just hiding up in the ceiling. So our strategy is going to be just stand here and fire and hope we don't get hit. Slow. <laughs> I think we may need to reset the game again. <laughs> hey, I want out. <laughs> Alright, we'll try this on, uh, let's see, press 1 to set up controls. Oh. Sorry. I'm gonna reload this one more time. Uh, <laughs> we'll play this on a difficulty mode we can beat so that we can move on to Remix, which is the one that I think more people probably want to see. <laughs> skip. Why can't we skip this intro cutscene? Because we're gonna be in the skin for like five minutes. Press a button right now. Thank you. Alright, let's try this again. Just to make absolutely sure. Up, down, left it, right, yump, fire, death button, start, hooray. Start, 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 start. You're kidding, you're joking. Stop. Seriously, what is the up with this game? I just configured everything. 
you know what? Uh, we've kind of seen a Mega Man Christmas Carol. Uh, group opinion, do we want to stop messing with this? Because I'm having serious technical issues that I did not have when testing. Do we want to skip straight to Remix? I will leave the choice in your hands. Now, the terrifying prospect is that my controller is running out of battery right now, and I'm not aware. I'm gonna do this on baby mode, just to make sure that we go through. Let's do Marley. Okay. Swing that ball and chain. Let's, uh, let's see if I don't die in one hit now. Let's see if I can jump and get that E-Tank. No, I totally can't! Why did you send me here first? So it's funny, the... Yeah, I'm... The boss! He's over there! I'm pointing in the direction of the boss! Get him! I don't know, something was funny. Now, there is a little bit more lag because I'm streaming at the time. At, at, at the current moment, in case you couldn't tell. But this game is, as I recall, from my best, a little bit laggy. I find it interesting that the uh, health bar, when you do a lot of damage at once, drains it down like it doesn't just immediately take off that whole chunk, it just goes doo -doo -doo. Kind of fun to watch. Am I gonna get a Proto Man Buster replica? See, I I like the I, I like that there are Buster replicas out there. I think those are, are fun, you know, if you're gonna cosplay or if you just wanna have a decoration on the shelf. Ghost Shackle! Um You know, I like the idea of them, but it's something for me that would never be practical enough to justify having it. Like I would rather have Mega Man figurines of some sort. Pick another stage, folks! Uh, I'd rather have, like, figurines of the characters than, like, the helmet. Um, or the buster, or the something. Oh, the remix... You go to remix, the lag is unbearable. Music slightly on the loud side, you say? Okay, we'll just... I will speed through those quickly. Now that the game is working, now that I'm in baby mode, I at least want to show some differences. You know, if I've gone to the effort of actually trying to get this set up, I want to follow through. Here we go. So I like all of the uh, Robot Masters in the background that we're kind of familiar with. And uh, the rating of this uh, game suddenly went up to like PG-13. PG uh, don't look too closely at the top of the screen, whatever those scantily clad statue things are. You're right, the lag is pretty intense, but because uh, I'm looking at my... Uh, Oh, let's try, uh... Try some special weapons, see how they do. See that? Whoa -ho -ho! And I'm stuck here and can't do anything. Sadness. And I like that we have a, uh... Rockman and Forte Challenger from the Future reference going on there. So much going on! Yeah, this is a fun battle. I like this one. <laughs> yes, maybe this is why Ace didn't want to play this game. <laughs> Alright. Here we go. Gift Recover Candy Cane! Don't eat your weapon. Actually, that would be tragic. Like, here, I got you a candy cane for Christmas. Mom, three damage. Ow! Alright. Oh, wow, that is so slow. <laughs> wow, that was delightful. Uh, present or future, folks? <laughs> well, and if you delete this off the net, that's fine. This would be the, uh, you know, the end. The, the last remnant of this game. Um, I don't know, I'm, I'm a fan of leaving things out for posterity. Uh, you know, especially if you release, like, a remix 
or a, an upgraded version of something just to be able to compare. Because again, the, the gaming historian in me is curious to see how things evolve. Uh, let's go present. To see how people improve. Uh, to see the lessons they learn from the games that they used to do and to the games that they do. You know, I, I think I've talked about this on stream before, of the games that I play that aren't necessarily of the highest quality. Like, do people recognize that? Or do the fan game creators think, this is the greatest thing ever made, why is everybody making so much fun of this? Plus, I, again, the lag is not as bad when you're not live streaming. Hi! Um... But I played this one before, and I enjoyed it. You know, even, even though I'm on baby mode, just to make sure that I win this. I, uh... Wow, you can stand on those instead. I completely lost my train of thought. But no, I, you know, I still... I, I played this when it first came out. I enjoyed it. I thought it was fun. Um, and it it's not... It's not a matter of professionalism, necessarily, with, you know, Mega Man fan games. Yeah, okay, there's a couple rough edges, the, you know, the game could be more developed, sure, yeah, whatever. Uh, but is it fun to play? Does it give me something that I don't get from any of the official games? And the answer here is yes. Um, present can also be used like a spring. Now that's interesting. They don't really tell you that for any of the other uh, weapons you pick up. Am I going to play Sprite Christmas? That was asked again, I'm not familiar with Sprite Christmas. Uh, don't know Norman Caruso. I'm definitely, <laughs> definitely not worth $80. Are we talking about... Wait a second. I just got a weapon. I just got a weapon. Boing! There we go. Alright. Let's see how this goes. Well, that was super effective. Ow. And I exploded too. No more Christmas for anyone. <laughs> Will I ever beat Mega Man Unlimited? I would need to go back and play Mega Man Unlimited again. Uh, I will eventually... <laughs> Actually, I think it would be funny if Mega Man Unlimited were the very last game, fan game, that I live-streamed. Because it's usually, like, the first one that everyone else plays. So, I would love to have... Here's all of the other fan games that exist at this point in history, and now let's go play the one that everybody thinks of when they think of the Mega Man fan game. And see how it stacks up. Oh, Norman Crusoe is the gaming historian. Okay, cool. Type Santa on title screen to start at this stage. Cool. So, no password, but you do have a, a sort of cheat skip. Can we go this way? No. Nope. Let's see how how do we how do what do we I also like the uh, the cute little chip tunes going on here. Two health bars. Whoa. Let's see. I don't remember what the uh, weaknesses are here, but that seems to be one. <laughs> Nice. I won! We saved Christmas! Or did we? I assume... <laughs> I was just about to jump off the cliff. I'm like, well, I assume they want us to go down. <laughs> <laughs> Let nothing you dismay in be. No! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so Dr. Light was really Santa, was really evil, and we saved Christmas. <laughs> fun. So I enjoyed this. This this was a fun little romp. Dr. Light! Why on earth? Did you just try to kill me? Exclamation point question mark. <laughs> Easy mode, huh? <laughs> I 
what's wrong with that? <laughs> you use present surprise against me on normal in phase one. And you <laughs> don't use the buster in phase two. <laughs> Why are you telling me this? <laughs> because... <clears throat> The moral of the story is, there is no moral. Dr. Light is just inappropriate for small audiences, which we've already determined this stream is. And thanks to the dedication of one crazy Mega Man player, yo, Christmas is saved. <laughs> well, I guess I'll need to play this on the next highest difficulty next time. Cool. Fun. Is there anything else after this? Any post-credits? Shenanigans, or are we just going to sit here and twiddle our thumbs, get a snack, that kind of thing? Awesome. Okay, so let's switch over to Mega Man Christmas Carol Remix. Once again, brace yourself for the wall of fan games. I'm going to need to get back into streaming fan games more often. Let's see, Mega Man Christmas Carol Remix. But I've been working on my own Mega Man fan game, Ojo's! A Proto Man adventure, which you may have heard about by now. Very excited about. Uh, let me know how the volume balance is. I'm gonna turn this up a little bit. This feels a little quiet. Oh man, I totally don't have my headphones on. I know it's been so long since I've streamed and I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing. You probably got a terrible echo this whole time. I'm sorry. Ugh. Oh. Go out of practice for just a little bit. Everything falls apart. There we go. Wait, Bionic Command? No, not Bionic Commando. Uh, Russian Attack Noise. You ungrateful brats! No, I, I don't know why I can't I get... Do you really think you've earned these gifts? No. You have displeased me this year. I kind of like the semi-mystery of it kind of looks like Dr. Light, but who is it really? Maybe it's just Santa. This kind of gives it away. Perhaps the spirits of Christmas will change your tune. Come, Mega Man, fight! Okay. The... what was that Dr. Light? It was probably Wily in a dodgy Dr. Cossack costume. <laughs> Proto Man almost looks like Zero there. But either way, this is serious! <laughs> oh, I wonder what's gotten into him! Mega Man also looks like he's partially melted, like he's been sliced in half by an energy sword or something. Bass? B bass? Well, well, well! If I defeat those new robot masters. I can ruin Mega Jerk's holiday! Nice. And prove I'm the strongest! <laughs> cool, so we have a, uh, a more developed story here. A little more intricate. Uh, more pictures and stuff. Game and graphics by Pinkie Pie, music by Joseph Collins. I know him! We worked on uh, Mega Man Endless levels. Start game! Oh, enter name. Oh, start, not enter. Uh, how is the volume? It still feels really quiet to me, folks. And so we have Mega Man. We played as Mega Man, so we're going to skip Mega Man. Uh, Mega Man only has the ability to slide. Can't jump, can't run, just slide. Base has the base buster, multi-direction, very good. Can dash, double jump. Uh, that sounds like a good plan. And Proto Man is the Proto Buster, so you can charge. Good. So you can slide, block small shots. Takes more damage. That's a selling point. Stronger than Mega Buster. Okay. Uh, hard character to use, you say. Uh, bit quiet, you say. Volume is good. A little quiet. I'll boost it up just a little bit. Uh, we're going to play as... Proto Man. And then maybe we'll come back and try 
as uh, base. So, baby mode, that's good. That probably... Actually, easy probably balances out the difficulty for Proto. No more Proto Man damage. Yep. <laughs> You're going to die! <laughs> what? <laughs> Even better. I really like this. So, uh, of course, we're starting on the hardest difficulty mode, and uh, we'll do this, uh, we'll start with Jacob Marley, like before. Let's see if we can, uh, can do this better than before. Let's see if my shield can block the ball and chain. Bit of a music switch up here. Oh, bit of a graphic switch up and a layout thing, too. I like that it explains what the weapon does. This is a good thing. Warning! Boss time! Get ready! R.I.P. Robert, the more musical of the Marley Brothers. Ow! Well, we're not actually going to play in this difficulty mode, but that was just fun to try. All right. Let's do this again. <laughs> Data loaded, get ready, okay. Now let's choose a, uh, a real. Uh, so, do, who do we want to play as? Uh, base or Protoman? I'll actually leave this up to you. First one I see is the one that we go to. <laughs> base, Protoman, not Mega Man. Base, Protoman. I'm not playing as Bob Marley, Gold Rat. Oh, I, I see. Delay, chat, whatever. <laughs> Protop! Okay, we are doing Protop Man. But I will swing back and play his base. Just to give it a shot. Uh, let's do this one on easy. And then we'll do base on normal mode. So now, what do we want to try? Past, present, future Jacob Marley. Okay, I know there's the delay. I'm like, which boss do we want to go to? And they're like, fight Mega Man! No, we're beyond that! <laughs> Baba! What? Future, thank you. Terrible place to start, I'm sure. Oh, how menacing. Like a Tusken Raider there. Ghost of Christmas Future! Oh, wow, cool. Countdown 20XX! <laughs> Now we have platforms in here so we can actually hit him. Good. Alert, enemy, alert, fight. Oh gosh, there is a countdown! Cool! Oh, and I get health for that. That's nice. What? Level 1? Oh, that's an achievement I just unlocked. Huzzah! <laughs> Okay, let's see. Yeah, I, I'm sure I can deflect future shots, but shooting them seem to be more effective. You get future side! You, you'll get it eventually. Expect six to eight weeks for shipping. <laughs> yeah, I love the little character touches that this game has. Definitely more polished. The fact that it's not, you know, chugging is uh, is also good. Oh, wow! I get, like, but coffee bonus! <laughs> I bet that's the, uh, like, the coffee break from uh, Mega Man. I think it's both 9 and 10 where you don't use an E-Tank. Courage bonus. I would be curious, Ace, because uh, I know you're in chat, to know what all of these actually mean. Where to now? Present past, Jacob Marley. I also like the updated uh, boss sprites here. So, I, I'm glad I played the other version first. I, I like seeing the comparison. I like the polish and the way that it's changed. And it's always interesting to see if when somebody upgrades or remixes something, if everything is improved, or if there's some stuff that kind of had its charm that you miss a little bit about the old version. I saw past... So we're going past. We're going back in time! Entity, I'm not going to Jacob. Not right now. <laughs> Jacob Merlay! <laughs> Yeah, that's true, that is how to speak as Proto-Man, I dot 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 after everything. Now with 100% less inappropriatude. Hey, I got a W tank! Boss time, get ready! So let's see, we got Heat Man, we got Nitro Man, we got... 
actually one or two that I don't recognize. Uh, you know, the Yellow Devil Mark II, we got... Uh, did that actually do something? No, not too much. Wait, see, see... Whoa, okay. Did not know I had that. Where did that come from? You got the uh, cockroaches from uh, Mega Man 4 in the corner. And that spike thing I don't actually recognize. It looks a little bit like Mr. X's machine from Mega Man 6. Sweet. We have uh, Dynaman from Mega Man DOS. Looking better than ever. Ow, oh, we got snakes. I'm sorry, what mode am I playing on? I do think I'm going to die on easy mode at this point. I'm not focusing enough. Yeah, never liked Nitro Man. Not focusing enough on uh, taking out the enemies that are uh, being dropped down here. And uh, I like, we had, I'm forgetting the, the name of the boss off the top of my head, but another uh, reference to some of the more obscure uh, canonical Mega Man games. Ow. I agree, there is a little bit too much going on here. The, I think, and maybe it was just because it was baby mode, but the... Uh, the balance of enemies in the original version, wow, did seem a little better, or at least the frequency, but I just need to learn how to deal. I think it's also because their attack patterns are so different. Yay! Okay, we did it. <laughs> Past Minion! Ooh, yes please, more Skull Man in my life. <laughs> Up to change selection. Oh man, I am such a big fan of this weapon already. Hello, Breakon! And also everyone whom I have not to whom I have not said hello. Do 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 do. Score get! I also like the uh, the music um, stepped up a little bit here. <laughs> Present, Marley. Do we have a choice? Spike ball from Wily Wars. Oh, maybe you're right. I have played the Wily Wars before. I remember some of the fortress bosses, and I remember like. Hyperstorm and Mega Water and all those. Predent. Christmas Predent. I didn't actually see where the cursor was. Hopefully I went to the right one. Ghost of Christmas Present! Alright. Let's see. Let's see if one of my minions can uh, do anything of value. You're standing in the wall, and you can't be bothered to get my E-Tank for me. Me? Okay, fine. Ba -ba -bum -bum. Oh yeah, now we're ready to fight. Except that didn't work so well. Uh, let's try this slicer. It's kind of working. Cutting through the shield, always good. Yeah, so I'm liking that all of these bosses have unique attack patterns. And I'm liking that they're all a fair challenge. And even with the more difficult modes, you just take too much damage, but the patterns are still fair. At least of the very little bit that I saw. <laughs> well, the boss finally used his signature weapon. How about that? Okay. <laughs> do, 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 do. 
Okay. Fight base now, you say. Well, I'm gonna go through this as Proto Man, then I'm gonna step it up difficulty level and try as base. And then maybe I'll have some uh, experience fighting these bosses to get by on a harder difficulty. Ghost of Swingy Balling! Alright, now. Now. I should have something. To. to get me up here. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. I at least got up here. Do, 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 do. Boss time warning, get ready! This time, we won't die so easily. We'll just miss terribly. Come on, do something useful! I don't think you're doing something useful. I'm still gonna die. <laughs> this is terrible. Wow, he's really good at- he's- he's learned my pattern! <laughs> okay, Ray, Got that one. Now, do we get to fight Santa? Marley Shackle, yoink! <laughs> now I will say, I'm normally not a fan of boss rushes. But this one is fun. Because it's- it's designed in such a way that it's not just endurance of how long can you put up with fighting the same bosses you've already fought just back to back to back with no break. You do have a little bit of a breather, that little intro screen before the boss chamber. And the bosses, again, aren't ones that you've fought before, so it's not like a rehash of anything. It's all brand new. Now that is a fortress. I would stay the heck away from that fortress. <laughs> Entering Misery Hall! Is that like where you send the really bad juvenile delinquents? Oh, the lag is really bad. Holy cow! Uh, this might. Nope. Good. I wonder if that takes away his shield. I have no idea what is going on here right now. I don't know why this is suddenly so choppy. Oh! I apologize. I I don't think there's anything else I can do. Wait a second. Let me let me pause the game. See if I can make the screen size even smaller. Yes, I can. Oh, now you get to check out my cool background. Uh, hang on a second. Uh, let's see. Sorry, was I, I tested this game and everything worked just fine. But let's add a new window. Let's not capture the mouse cursor. Zoop. Let me see if I can get the uh, the sizing somewhat appropriate here. Position size, set vertically. Okay. I think we're all right. Let's get back to it. Maybe this will not be. This will be harder. No, the lag is still really bad. Slide. So this is new. And I like, we don't get these very often in Mega Man, and it's good, but the every once in a while when we do get it, it's nice to have a scrolling section like this, because this really does offer something new for the gameplay.
I know I should be using special weapons. But this seems to be working okay, and I want to save my weapons for a more challenging boss. Whoops! Yeah, I know, it's like, I have no excuse to get hit now. Boom! Alright, I am the winner of everything. I'm getting to the other side of the screen now. Don't want to get hurt. Yeah. <laughs> Not seasonally appropriate. I, uh, I've played Super Mario World before. That looked a little familiar. Ah, oh, I should have kept running the other direction. I, this is also throwing off my uh, charge shot timing, so I need to go by the uh, the picture, his uh, animation, more than the uh, the sound effect or the amount, the length of time that I've been uh, charging. I find that sometimes even worse than the controls being bad. The controls just being different enough from what you're familiar with to throw off your timing. Where it's close. But no banana. Yeah, it does kind of look like Wario in there, doesn't it? Go away, go away, go away! Go away! <laughs> Yay! Whew! <laughs> Alright. Last stage! Uh, Cosmic, if you're still in chat, is your game ready yet? Because if not... Oh, wait, I'm still gonna play his base. Um, unless people are totally sick, but then you will, you know, be able to have seen everything that you care to see and just duck out for the last portion where I replay the game as a different character on a different difficulty mode. Live streaming does weird things to games, because every once in a while there will be a game that, due to the way it's programmed or whatever, just everything chugs. But I've never had a game start chugging halfway through, and now it's like super fast by comparison. Holy cats. Warning! Warning! Well, those are gonna fall out from under me, that much I can tell you. What? This looks like time to use a weapon. Uh, this looks like time to use a weapon that works. Uh, it doesn't seem to be... So what's going on? Is that is that working? No. I'm I'm having difficulty given the smaller screen size that I'm working with. Uh, determining. Oh. Ugh. Yeah, determining how much damage I'm actually doing. All right, try this again. Oh good, everything got refilled. Well, you are just missing everything. Oh, I wonder if when they die, they fall down and blow up the floor. That would be interesting. Whoa! Whoa, no! No me gusta, no quiero. I guess I'm out of that. I'm trying to determine at what point the health bar goes down. Because it looks like I can just wail on it, and then after a number of hits, one of the bars goes down. Hooray! No, not hooray! Oh, man, very bad, very bad. Uh... Ah-ha-ha-ha-ha! Oh, wish I could hit anything. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, that was fair. Ouch. Uh, let's hope that I start at the second form. Oh, I don't want to do this all over again. This was this was a fine boss battle, but it's going to be a little tedious to do over and over, so I may actually beat this game and may need to switch over to base on baby mode just to make sure that I get through it. <sighs> the minion was helpful. Oh, I didn't check to see if I could go back to the other stages and collect the E-Tanks that I missed. Yeah, I think I'm going to give this boss one more try, and then I'll switch over to playing as base. Actually, I'm not even going to make it, so I'm not going to waste my time. Oh, hi! Hi, Beat! Thank you! <laughs> Hit the puddings back at it, you say. Where were their puddings? Wrong one! Oh, is that the pudding you were talking about? The bouncing thing? The things that look like bouncing heads to me? Now... She got me closer. Wait, what are you doing? Ah, oh, I just forget. Yep, okay, we're gonna try base now. <laughs> Plan is base. <laughs> Sprites Inc. presents a game Flashman85 can't possibly beat. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's do. Base. And we will do it on baby mode just to make sure that we beat the game. Game Gear Mega Man. I kind of like Game Gear Mega Man. It, it's definitely not the highest quality game in existence. Uh, pick one, chat, anyone, doesn't matter to me. Um, yeah, Mega Man Game Gear is one that I do plan to play on my YouTube channel, my Gemini Laser channel at some point. Uh, <laughs> present, you say, okay. Should I ever get there, that's going to be a long way off, but it is technically more of an official Mega Man game than the ones I play on live stream here. So... I, it, it is interesting because it's very much the same Mega Man 4 and 5 that you know, but at the same time, not really. The music, for one thing, is completely off the wall. Love that laugh. I don't know, I feel like I could have taken this on on normal mode with base. And, you know, as much as I complain about Mega Man 10, the game is honestly legitimately fun if I play as base. And it, it has everything to do with the abilities that you have, that I feel like Mega Man doesn't have the full range of powers, minimum powers, to be able to take on the challenges in 10 like you can in the other games. Proto Man has too many downfalls that make it unpleasant to play as him, but base has just enough to counter some of the, the tricky parts that are a little too hard or too tedious of the game, and just it makes it at the same level of fun as any other given Mega Man game. So I find playing base to be really entertaining, um, except in Mega Man and base, where you have to double tap to dash. That I anytime you need to press a button, then release it, then put your finger back on the button, opens the door for some sort of error. If it's just a single press, like hold down and press A and then you dash, 
or you just press A button and then you dash, then I'm game with it. But I, I don't have quite the reliable mobility with base in Mega Man and base that I want to be able to enjoy playing as him. Uh, but that has nothing to do with this, but that is totally okay. Uh, where are we going now? Does the chat care? Spoil the final level of what game are we talking about? I saw Future back in the past. That's okay. What won't I read? <laughs> I'm sorry. I've, I've completely uh, lost where we are in the chat. Now, with some practice, I could take on the rest of the game in normal mode, hard mode, whatever. But... I... Uh, I don't want to uh, take the time to practice. We've already spent more time redoing things in this stream than uh, we probably should have. Yeah! This is a little Castlevania here, too. I wonder if that was intentional. I have no concern for my own health. <laughs> I can just stand here. Oh! I see. I didn't realize that's what we were talking about spoiling. Yes. Game Gear. That's fine. You can spoil the Game Gear Mega Man game. It's been out for many, many years. Totally fine. Oh, what happens if the timer runs out? Can I show that off? Uh, remind me... I'll see, I'll see if I can replay the stage. Uh, but remind me if not, and I'll go back and that'll be the last thing that I do. I can't go back. It just goes meow at me. Meow. Alright, uh, we're going... We're going to Marley and then we'll go past. I'm noticing the, uh, chat is starting to thin out a bit, so either a bunch of stuff, uh... Either a bunch of people gave up, or we've just gotten quiet. Uh, Ace, I was... Uh, I have not played the second Christmas Carol yet. I do plan on trying it out. Oh, that's right, I have a double jump! Duh! Um, I will probably play it next Christmas. I do want to save something. Yeah, I really gotta try out all these special weapons here. Do I not have the uh, right thing to... Oh, there we go. Good. <laughs> but yeah, I do plan on playing uh, Christmas Carol 2 next year. I do want to say I've got more than enough fan games to keep me busy in the meantime. You can bet I'm going to start... Uh... Right... That was terrible. I am just no good at fighting this boss, and by all rights, he should be the easiest one to fight. But yeah, I've, I've got a huge list of fan games, which, if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, there is a link in the video description where you can see my full list of all the games I've played, all the games I plan to play, and download links for all of them. Yeah, I don't think we're going to crack two hours on the stream, which is okay, because a shorter stream is always good. And now we go to the past! Which is extra the past, because we've already beaten this boss, like, twice now. Mmm. Okay. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> I don't think that was supposed to happen. Uh, did we determine a weakness? Yes, we did. Well, that fight went much better. Really grabby today, I'm sorry. 
<laughs> it's alive! <laughs> Normally I'd complain that you can't skip this, but because of how short the game is, I'm okay with that. And also because of how short this little animation is. But it is notably longer than the others. <laughs> That's true, more time is spent in the result screens than in the actual game. <laughs> Oh man, that would be fun, fighting a boss in the menu screen, and as you're attacking, you know, if one of your shots goes astray, you uh, knock down some of the weapon energy for one of the other weapons that's on your list. That'd be cool. Mysterious foe. Really not so mysterious, because we saw his face in full view in the intro cutscene. So, I'm, I'm kind of on the fence. I, I see benefits to both the first the the flash version of the game and this remix of the game i i like both of them for different reasons um and at this point i haven't decided what i would pick if i could only play one because there's better production values here and there's better replay value but I think because there's a couple more layers here, I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of simplicity. Like, I like having the option of choice, but I don't like getting too caught up in, uh, oh, there's gotta be something better to work with here. Aha, uh -huh, guess I found it. That, that there is something to be said about simplicity. Um, so there's almost too much here for my taste, but it's not bad. I would still definitely recommend this game. <laughs> Let's see what we got. That seems to be better. I do want to see more fan games where you can play as bass, because he's got a, a unique move set that opens up the a lot of possibilities, especially if he were the only player. And you didn't have to worry about making it so that Mega Man or Proto Man could get through the stage. That you can work with the double jump in mind. You know, sort of like certain sections of Mega Man and Base. But that you could work with a double jump and a diagonal shot in mind and program the game that way. Yeah, don't know what that was all about with the lag. <laughs> Ba -ba. Let's see if this stage goes any better. <laughs> Zoop. Always with the zooping. Now let's see if I can just... Yes, this works so much better. Uh, okay, so I... Ow! So I could have taken this game on uh, normal mode, I think, with base being able to do that. I'm curious to know if, uh, if you take out the other one, if that turns into a fan as well. Yes, I should use special weapons, you're right. They should be shooting something. Woohoo! Uh -huh. Yeah, I, I'm having a difficult time seeing those projectiles because of, uh, Yeah, I definitely should use a special weapon there. Because of the small screen size. I'm I'm also having a difficult time determining why I can sometimes hit. Like why I was able to hit before but not after.
Like, I'm not entirely clear on where the, uh... where the invulnerability parts are. I'm gonna stay on the main screen. That's gonna screw things up, I'm sure. Okay, fine. <laughs> Hooray! Final score get, presumably! Press strat to continue. Final score! Uh, I think I'm gonna skip submitting. Because I'm sure that would screw something up. Oh no, he's just the robot! Where the heck are all the presents? What? What are... Oh, that's Dr. Light, whose mouth is yo-yoing, right? What are you doing here? Go away! Shoo! <laughs> Why aren't you gone yet? Playing on easy? Ah, oh, there we go. Yes, that is addled. I wasn't sure. Addled your brain? Fine! <laughs> I'll send you back to Wiley myself. I like how Dr. Light was just standing off to the side and talking to him through the speakerphone. Credits! So hooray, we beat the game. Yeah, I think it was just, it was the penultimate boss. Well, actually, that whole final boss thing, I definitely prefer the final boss from the original Flash game. That, both forms. Uh, that, that to me was much more my, my style. Um... But, I like that the the production values were really nice here. Um, the attention to detail, some of the little things, the sense of humor that worked out through. Um, I prefer the intro, uh, the intro cutscene on the Flash game, just because there's that little traditional hint of mystery like you get out of a Mega Man game, even if you kind of know who it is, or definitely know who it is. Uh, whereas this one, there's no mystery whatsoever. So, I don't know, I just, I, there are things that I like about both games, and I would recommend them both. So this was fun. Uh, I will go back and show off what happens if you run out of time on, uh, Future Man. So, we'll take a, uh, we'll take a look at that, and then we'll see if Cosmic is done with his game. And if it's not done, we will play that the next stream. So, Cosmic, kindly let me know if you have a download link for me yet. Look out for series finale, Christmas Carol 3, sometime eventually, game over! Alright, so I will beat the game on a higher difficulty. Not today. Alright. Oh, and we can also, of course... Uh, uh, start game. I was gonna review the achievements and just see. Uh, but we won't do that right now. So, we've seen the both of these, so let's try as Mega Man. Even though we know what Mega Man looks like. Uh, and we'll do this on normal. And then we'll just wait for the timer to run out. Rawr. Okay, here we go. Get ready. I don't know what the jumping sound effect is all about. What's the next game? The next game is if Cosmic Gem has it ready, whatever Cosmic cooked up in like three days or something. Actually, that would be an interesting challenge I should have done. Put it on the, the hardest or second hardest difficulty setting and tried to survive for the amount of time without actually attacking anything. Seem to be doing more or less okay. <laughs> and then I say that and I get hit. Guess I'm not getting power-ups, huh? Ten! Nine! Eight! Seven! Six! Five! Four, three, two. Watch me die right before this happens. Mega Man something, crush, kill, destroy. Oh, okay. I see.
it just gets harder. <laughs> so that's it. Let's uh, let's see the uh, achievements, and then last call. Somebody in chat, please call out to Cosmic Gem and ask if the game is ready for download. And if it is not, we'll play it next time. Yeah, Happy New Year! I'm sorry, I was going to say that, I got distracted. Marley Achievement! So what if it's cheating? Past Achievement! Bustin makes me feel good! Present Achievement! Hidden in the clouds! Future Achievement! Anyone for tennis? Another future achievement, Richard Whiteley would be pleased. Castle 1 achievement, more snow for the snow miser. Castle 2 achievement, yoink. I think I know what that one's all about. Global achievement, he's not heavy, he's my brother. So that's playing with Proto Man, cute. You only live once, yep, don't die. Trusty side cannon, no special weapons. Gotta be joking, beat the game on what? Yeah, I'm on board with achievements that beat the game in a way that pushes you to try everything the game has to offer, not achievements that push you to do stupid things that you would never do just playing on your own. And I like that it tells you what to do for the next medal, that it's not some arcane requirement for what happens next. Reserve tank. No unlocking this. Okay, fine. Uh, Wrecking Goomba. So, okay. <laughs> so, Cosmic says, ah, I'm going then to... I will try this one more time on what? Just to buy you some time, Cosmic. And if it is not ready, we're calling it a day. And we will play it next time. Because I don't want to hold up these kind people. any longer. We'll try this as Proto Man. We'll try this again on... Actually, let's try it on hard. We haven't done hard yet. Maybe survive two hits. Ba -ba -da -da. So thanks for sticking around. You know, I always, I always think of the live streams as it's just me playing video games, just very casual, and I'm glad to have people along for the ride. And I try and keep in mind that this is going to be archived on YouTube on my Flashman85 live channel, and that this may be the only video record of some of these games that you're ever going to get. And even if they're not, it's a different gameplay style than you might otherwise get for somebody who's actually trying to beat them. Good thing I got rid of Sheep Man. Oh, wait, there are totally different enemies here than there were last time. Okay! Alright! Not so good! <laughs> Well, glad to see there are other, uh... I wonder where I got beat from. Q&A until Cosmic is done. I don't even know what that means. Let's try present on hard. See what other, uh... attack patterns they have to offer. But yeah, I just I, I do this for the fun of it, and hopefully it's fun for you too. And if it isn't fun to watch these live streams, you know, I'm open to criticism. Let me know what I can do better. It is weird that I can jump through there. I wonder if that's because that's where I teleport in and there needed to be something not solid there for me to go through. Oh, well by nature of me talking with you over chat, uh, it's always QA time. If there's ever anything you want to ask me, just go for it. I might actually win this one. I might actually lose this one. <laughs> now, I know what Q ampersand A is, but letter Q, letter N, letter A, I have no idea. I've never seen that one before. Oh, that not solid part is part of the achievement? Interesting. So yeah, ask me stuff if you want to. For example, how long is it going to take Cosmic to get the game ready? <laughs> and you watch, I'm going to go play his game, 
and we're gonna take like 10 minutes to set it up, and I'm gonna be on there for like 30 seconds and I'll get stuck like I did with Mega Man Winter Edition. Uh, oh well. Yeah, so I, I like the potential of Mega Man Winter Edition, but because of some very serious difficulty spikes, I, I don't know that I could recommend it. And the lack of a checkpoint in a part that really seems to need a checkpoint. Uh, what question do we need to ask to buy the maximum amount of time for Cosmic to finish? Ooh, that is a good question. I um, think it would probably be, could you tell me your life story? <laughs> I think that's about as, as long as I can get. Which I will not be answering at this uh, current moment. Oh, so this totally is a survival thing. Because if you don't have any special weapons, you just kind of float here until he comes down to beat you up. Interesting. Okay. That's that's cool. I'm on board with that. Oh, and of course that is just totally ineffective against him. I like that it says target eliminated up top. I mean, I could at least get the... Uh... <laughs> Tell us my life story. That's a really difficult thing to focus on when I'm live streaming, so no. Uh, but I was small once. Now I'm big. There you go. I grew up. Uh, let's try Jacob Marley. And then seriously, Cosmic, I'm running out of time to buy you. <laughs> Why Mega Man 7 is so dumb. I'm glad to see people watching my videos and remembering them. Can you, uh, like... Yes, you can. You can, uh... Bomb jump your way up there. <laughs> nice. Well, I can tell you that I'm sort of a nomad. My family moved around a whole bunch uh, when I was younger, so I consider myself to be from a couple different places. I did that one wrong. Oh, totally ran out of weapon energy. I can tell you that I'm an international traveler. I've been abroad... Ah, oh, not quite. I've been abroad a few times. More than a few times. <laughs> I was a Spanish and religion major at college. I was going to go to school to be a teacher, but decided against it for various reasons. work as a uh, professional editor. Copy manager is actually my job position at the moment. Hey, hey, I beat one! So I can tell you a bunch of random stuff. But not so much that you can use that information against me. Because that's a thing, always disclosing personal information to the entire world! You know, if people want it bad enough, I'm sure they can find anything, but... How much you give away freely, I feel like you do need to monitor. And I could be lying to you. I mean, I could be making all of this up and give you some sort of ridiculous picture. Actually, I should have. what I should have done is, you know, written up a whole false biography for myself and just pulled random facts from it and make them just on the cusp of believability. That would be really entertaining. I shouldn't beat them so quickly. <laughs> What is my opinion on wrestling? Uh, I'm thinking professional wrestling. I've never really been interested in the kind of, like, high school uh, wrestling that you do on a gym mat. But uh, my grandfather was big on professional wrestling, so I watched uh, that more than once. So, not something I would choose to do with my free time, but I don't mind it. Who would have win in a fight between Batman and bigger Batman? Probably Batman, because he'd have more ways to take down bigger Batman. The bigger is not necessarily better in this case. Easier target. Harder to hide in the shadows. When is Mega Man 8 going to be... Oh, you're fired, Kuno. <laughs> uh, when is Mega Man 8 going to be finished? That's a matter ah, of... Uh, Ow. So I need to finish Ojo's. I'm sorry. 
Oh, Joe's first. You need to say it with an exclamation point every time. You can't just say it normally. Ah, oh, I ran out of energy and did not notice until too late. So I want to finish my Mega Man fan game first, and then I'll probably get involved in the Make a Good Mega Man level contest uh, 2 game, and that'll take up some of my time. Then once all of that is done, then I want to focus on my video recording again. So for the time being, I really am just working on Ojo's all the time. It's like every night or every other night, I'm sitting down and spending a couple of hours putting together uh, and testing and doing a little bit of programming, uh, but I'm getting some help with that. So I'm doing something to further my game. I'm making a lot of progress. There's just a lot more to do because it is a whole game and not just a single level. Um, technically, I am still a staff writer for GameCola.net, uh, but I've tried to phase myself out now because I, I do want to focus on my Mega Man videos. I want to finish on working on my game. Uh, a bunch of different reasons, so I've been sort of easing myself out of Game Cola for the last year or so. Um, but now, I'd, even though my name is still on the staff roster, I don't really do anything. But I'm still on call. Like, if they want me for something, uh, you know, like a podcast or something like that, if they want me to contribute to an article, I'm more than happy to jump back in. Uh, my opinion on... How did Clown Man... Evil Clown Man escape my... Uh, Bleeping protocol. Ugh, oh, terrible. Yeah, so uh, I'm, I was totally not expecting to play this game so many times, uh, and I totally don't blame you if you want to jump ship, but, you know, we at least get to see hard mode. I am enjoying working on Ojo's, but I also realize that it is a lot of work. Ah, oh, wait a second. Might be a ow. Well, it was a safer place to stand. I was thinking maybe use my decoy to absorb all the damage uh, with their projectile. But yeah, I would consider doing another fan game in the future, but probably not anytime soon. I also have some other projects. My wife and I, for example, have a dating sim that we've wanted to work on for about a year or two, um, and we've brainstormed some ideas for. We've actually got two different dating sims uh, we've got ideas for. At least it's kind of sometimes hitting. I don't think I'm going to be able to do this. That's good. You just stay right there. Oh, no! But games take a lot of time. And I want to maximize what I'm doing. I, I, I want the most bang for my buck with how I'm spending my free time. Um... So, like, live streaming, it takes me, you know, a little bit of time to prepare. A little bit of time to update... Yeah, I'm just not going to make this. A uh, little bit of time to update my uh, my tracker. And keep on top of looking for new fan games. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> Did that count or not? <laughs> but yeah, I want to I do things that maximize the bang for my buck. So, live streaming is, I get exactly, you know, if I stream for two hours, I get two hours of entertainment out of it, uh, plus a little bit of extra prep time on my side. If I do, a, like, one of my Mega Man videos, I'm terrible. Uh, specifically for YouTube, I have to practice stages like this. I have to do this over and over and over again, and hopefully, eventually, get footage that I can work with, and... You know, it's hours and hours of work for 15 minutes worth of entertainment, but the upside to that is it's entertainment that stays relevant for years and years. I still have new people uh, subscribing to me and commenting on my uh, videos on my Gemini Laser channel from the very beginning, my Mega Man 1, 2, 3 playthroughs. Uh, okay. That's why I wasn't paying attention. That's the one that he's shooting out at regular intervals. That's not some random side that's coming down to attack me. Um... All right, so I'll pay more attention to that. That's what's getting me killed. Oh, I botched the timing. So after you hit him once, he stays put? Is that what happened? Yeah, all right, that's it. Uh, I 
I need, um... Yes, dating sim. And it's gonna be an unconventional dating sim. Alright, Cosmic, last call. I need you to uh, either send me a link or we're signing off because I've been on here a little bit longer than expected. Well, actually, a lot longer than expected. And I'm clearly not getting better, any better at this fight because I'm talking instead of really paying attention to what I'm doing. And I'm trying the same strategy, which did work! I did actually defeat the boss this way. I just keep getting hit terribly. Cosmic is almost done. Uh, chat, I'll leave it up to you if, if you want to uh, stick around a little longer. Actually, you know what I can do? I can uh, reset. <laughs> and I'll just let this play with uh, different music. So you got something. So I'll keep on going with the Q&A for a little longer. If you want to bail on me, I do not blame you. That's totally fine. Um, I should have responded to Cosmic. Cosmic asked me last night, would you be interested in playing a, a fan game? And I thought it had been completed already, and I was just going to respond, you know, if I didn't see a response before I went to bed when I woke up, I was just going to say, oh yeah, totally cool. I will be happy to, uh, you know, try this winter or holiday themed game. But I didn't realize Cosmic was waiting on me for a response before working on the rest of the game. <laughs> uh, will I ever do any new Mega Man videos for my main channel? My Gemini Laser channel? Yes. Uh, like I was saying, once I'm done with Ojo's, I'm going to get back to working on my Mega Man 8 playthrough, which I do have some footage for. You can tell on my Facebook page and my Twitch page what stage I just finished. I'll put up a new banner for whatever stage I just finished recording. So I do have the video for uh, the intro stage, Frostman stage, Tengu Man stage, the first half. So there is something to show for myself. This is so cool that you're all willing to wait. I'm, I'm really on board with this. This is nice. So, more questions. Keep them coming. What is my opinions for X3? You mean Mega Man X3? I like Mega Man X3. It's one of my favorites in the X series, even though I know that there are some parts of it. Like, the Fortress stages, I'm not as keen on, but I and I know that the replayability is limited somewhat by needing to go to some stages in a certain order to be able to get some of uh, the really obscure power... not, not even obscure power-ups, but some of the upgrades um, that are minimum necessities to get a lot of other ones, you need to go through a very specific order first. Uh, like, all of the ride armors are not put in particularly well to give you any flexibility about how to go through the game and pick up all the ride armors. So I know that there are some limitations and some problems, but I do like all of the, the I like the variety, I like all of the different things that you can do. There's gotta be something with the music here. I'll stay on the achievements page for a little while until this music starts to drive us nuts. Um, but yeah, I like X3. It's got its problems, but I enjoy it. On a scale of 1 to 10, how painful was recording Frostman's snowboarding section? Not nearly as bad as you would think, actually, because that's one that does get better. It's pure practice. And trying to show off, I was tempering that a little bit because I realized after Mega Man 7, talking about wanting to get the most bang for my buck, I realized that as long as I'm having fun pushing myself to show off, I'll keep doing it, but if it becomes a matter of I need to do something more interesting and more exciting with this section, or else it's not going to be fun, that's just silly, because I have people who have been watching forever since before I really focused on showing off. Uh, you know, my Mega Man 1, 2, and most of 3 playthroughs were just, this is normally how I play the game, and I've practiced a couple more times and just used the best recording for this video. So I'm kind of going back to that model for X8, uh, I'm sorry, X8, Mega Man 8. Uh, 4, 5, and 6 I'm much better at and I've had a lot more practice with, So, and I know a lot more of the, the tricks and fun stuff that you can do, so I was really pushing myself to do all the wacky things I could there, and same with 7. But 8 I'm starting to scale it back a little bit and just saying as long as it's entertaining, it doesn't necessarily need to be as show off as some of my previous levels, uh, or the previous levels that I've played. So for the snowboarding section, I think it's still fun, I think it's still entertaining, um, but I'm, I'm keeping it in balance so that I'm only trying hard enough to still make it entertaining, not to be 
mind-blowingly crazy amazing, but it also took me half a year to get footage this good, because that ultimately doesn't, you know, doesn't balance itself out for me. What do we got? Would I play the final update of Mega Man Rock Force when it comes out? Absolutely. One of my plans is once I've done a lot more of these Mega Man fan games, I'm going to start going back and doing full playthroughs of the ones that I like the most. So I would definitely go back and play Rock Force because that is one of my favorites of the fan games that I've played. What do I want for Christmas this year? I do celebrate Christmas, um, and I have... I, I, I started several years ago a standing wish list of assorted things that I just keep a Word document on my computer and hang out, you know, just I, I pop in new things whenever I think of them, like, oh yeah, there's a new video game that came out, uh, I'll add it to the list, stuff that I'm not necessarily looking to pick up right away, but would like to have at some point. So I just have this sort of accumulation of various things uh, over time, and uh, I just pull out that list and do a little bit of uh, maintenance on it, send it off to family. For Christmas. So, uh, anyways, that does not answer your question of what do I want for Christmas. Uh, I have a couple video games on the list, but I'm not playing games as much as I used to be anymore, especially because I'm spending more time making them and recording them. Uh, but, so there's a couple games, uh, lots of music. Uh, I'm spending a lot of time in the car these days, so more CDs, good. I don't have satellite radio or an iPod or anything like that. Uh, let's see. Um, couple of random practical things, like more pajama pants are always useful. Netflix resubscription, that kind of thing. So, fairly normal stuff, not anything too out there. A new printer. Our printer broke. We don't have a printer scanner that works right now. Uh, what other things are we interested in? The idea of having to unlock the default ride armor is silly. I agree. I, I, in X3, if you could just pick up whatever ride armor you picked up all of a sudden that's available, great. There's no need to pick up the basic one and then all of the other variants. What do we got? Scale of 1 to 10, how afraid am I of doing Wily 1 snowboarding section? Actually, it's not the snowboarding section of Wily 1 in Mega Man 8 that bugs me, it's the boss. I'm pretty good at the snowboarding sections. They are obnoxious, they are longer than necessary, they require a lot of practice, and it really is a pass-fail. There's not a lot of degrees of success like there are with any other part of the game. So, that's just, once you get good at it, you're good at it. But the boss, there's so many different things that can happen, and making it interesting and holding myself to a skill standard of being able to, to bank shots off of walls and do other crazy things. It's the boss battle that scares me, and I don't want to have to keep redoing the section that plays out more or less the same way every time to get to the boss that could pan out a hundred different ways. Uh, the maximum amount of times I can get hit until I retry the level. Um, I usually don't have a particular number of times that I get hit. There, I think there have been one or two videos, Twisted Chainsaw, where I've gotten all the way to the boss, and I've gotten beaten up pretty badly by the boss, to the point of almost dying. But I still let it go, because the rest of the level, and maybe even that battle, were interesting enough to stick with. So I don't really have a set amount. It's if I screw up too much at the very beginning of the level, that's where I'll start over. If I'm already invested a long way into the level, I'll let it slide a little more. Have I ever thought about branching out to other games for my YouTube viewers? Not for my Gemini Laser YouTube channel. That's part of the reason why I'm live streaming, so I can play whatever I feel like. So anything that I might play on YouTube, you could see here on Twitch, or on my Flashman85 live YouTube channel, where I port all this stuff after it's on Twitch. Uh, so I don't actually have anything other than Mega Man that I want to play for YouTube. Honestly, I was not expecting to be making videos for YouTube this long, it's just taken me a very long time. Uh, it was supposed to be Mega Man 1 through 6, and then I'm done, but then it became this whole big thing, and I'm just rolling with it. When the final uh, update of Mega Man Rock Force comes out, would you download the soundtrack? Absolutely. I try and make it a point to have music from all of the games that I've played on my computer, um, or at least listen to them at work. Uh, that, that's a great way to make the workday go by, is find one of those extended cuts, like 30 minutes long, of any given video game music, and just let that sit in the background, because music is video game music is meant to be looped indefinitely, and when I'm editing for a living, I can't really have things with words distracting me, so it's great to have instrumental stuff. I've talked about that before, though. What else? The Mega Man Mega Buster Replica that wish list? Actually, no. I mean, I, it's cool. I think the, bu the Buster Replica is cool. But uh, I guess you can send that on uh, Discord. All right. We, uh, we have confirmation 
that the new game is done. So I'm going to pop over uh, very briefly to download it, and then we're going to try and uh, put it into play. But yeah, like I was saying, I like the Mega Buster replica as an idea, but it's not something that I feel like I, I need to have in my house. I don't really have room for it. All right, Mega Man Holiday Adventure dot zip. Now, Cosmic, you'll want to make sure if if you would. And this really is not meant for public consumption. Um, to make this available somewhere, or else let me host it on my Dropbox so that other people can play it, because I, I do, in addition to streaming these games, I want to make sure that everybody is able to play these games if they like them enough, try them themselves. And that also helps games from uh, disappearing altogether. The more people who have them, the more people can salvage them. Let's see. So you'll need to bear with me. Well, not like you haven't been bearing with me yet. Can, do I still do Flash Floods? No Twisted Chainsaw, because I, like I said, I was using my way out of Game Cola. So that, that was something that I had planned on getting back to, but never actually followed through on. So there will be no more Flash Floods, but, or at least as far as I'm anticipating. Uh, let's try this. Mega Engine! I have a big splash screen that says Mega Engine. All right, so... Uh, let's... Uh, I'm going to wait... Okay, you got some music now. Gonna add this window. There is a, a little intro screen that just had all the like copyright information and such. All right. Let's stretch this out a little more. Center vertically. A mega holiday adventure, an unexpected addition to our live stream. So let's. Oh, let's also stop editing the scene. Let's give this a shot. Oh, hang on a second. I need to change my Joy to Key configuration. I believe this uses more or less the same controls as Make a Good Mega Man level. Press the space bar. Santa Man! Oh man, this is looking good already. Mega Man X Marathon. I do eventually plan on that. I do want to marathon at least some of the Mega Man X games, maybe for the 30th anniversary next year. Dash Jump and I might uh, get together and do that. I haven't spoken with him about that, but that could be fun. Oh boy! It's a colorful ready. What? Fun little sparkly explosion. So, uh, Cosmic, assuming you're still in chat, tell us uh, your tale about, oh gosh, about this uh, little fan game. That is totally seasonally appropriate. Because I know those little things are popping out all outside when I go to my car in the morning to go to work. I just need to keep jumping over them. This is the wrong file? Oh, the one that I can't get through? Beautiful. <laughs> you sent me the wrong file? That is very sad. <laughs> Thanks for waiting around so long to watch the wrong game be played. I also like that Mega Man has a uh, different color slidey puff. I like that the sound effects are different for no reason. Can I slide through the invisible hole over here? There's totally nothing here. Oh wow! I've got weapons! Nice. Got my blade. Oh, gosh. Yep, that's a helpful placement for Rush. <laughs> yep, this is what you waited all of this time for. <laughs> well, I'm going to play the heck out of this if we waited this long. 
No! I can't make it back. <laughs> How many lives I got? One lives. <laughs> Christmas Carol Alpha Demo. <laughs> Weapon is totally useless. Yes! I have to say, I really do enjoy this man's weapon. And I enjoy Gravity Man's weapon. All of the ones that just... that make things uh, fly off into space for no reason. <laughs> oh, yeah, this could be a regular Mega Man game completely destroyed by some Game Genie code, yes. <laughs> This is too entertaining. Oh man, I lost so hard it sent me back to Mega Man 5. Hey, now we have music! This is sort of like the remember all those good memories that we had kind of uh, music, and then remember all the bad memories we just made by falling down a hole. <laughs> Okay. I think this is it. That is it for now. I can't even close the game. It won't close. <laughs> it's done. Uh, you are forever going to... Wait, I can just pause the game. There we go. <laughs> so, thank you for joining me and for sticking around for that amazing conclusion to our holiday slash winter themed 29th anniversary Mega Man live stream of Spike Award live streaming excellence. Uh, you're the best. I love having you here. So I will see you again sometime. I may not be live streaming a whole bunch uh, in the near future because I will be working on Ojo's, but I can promise you that uh, there is a lot of content. There are multiple paths, which is what's taking so long, is that when you have multiple ways to get through every level and then trying to make each challenge uh, robust enough that you've got other ways of doing it, not just the only way that you can beat the challenge, uh, there's a lot of testing and a lot of thinking ahead involved. So it's taken me a while, but I'm, I'm having fun with it, and I'm making good progress all the time. So hopefully I'll have more updates for you soon. So thanks again. If you missed any part of this broadcast, you can find me on Flashman uh, as Flashman85Live on YouTube. I archive all of my live streams. I don't just do Mega Man, just mostly Mega Man. And you can find me on YouTube as Gemini Laser, where I do more polished, practiced playthroughs with more coherent commentary, I think, of the official Mega Man games. Like I said, I'm working on Mega Man 8 right now, but I uh, won't get back to actively working on that for a while. And if you want advance notice about when I'm going to go live, or other things that I do. Uh, you can find me on Twitter and on Facebook. All of those links are right in front of you. I'm also on Discord. There is uh, Anybody who's in my Discord server can share a link with you if you ask, and uh, in the video on YouTube uh, there will be a link to that uh, invite to anybody that you can click on. Uh, if you wanted to play any of the games that were here, also look in the video description on YouTube. There will be a link to the tracker that has links to all of the downloads. Uh, and that's basically it for now. I have a personal website you can check out. I write about Mega Man and do lots of other stuff. So thank you for joining me. Last call for any questions. Thank you, Cosmic, for posting the EXE publicly. I appreciate that. And, uh, okay. Oh, how's the Mario World hack coming? Uh, Super Impossible Mario World, which you may have seen on GC.net, the game called a YouTube channel, uh, is... I, I don't, I'm not really working on it anymore. I think I'm going to wait for the last video to go up. Just need to wait on one last bit of uh, recording processing to happen uh, from one of the other people involved. And then once that one goes up, I think I'm going to release it to the public as is. Uh, it's been in progress forever, and I don't think I, I want to devote the time to completely finalizing it. Um, but I think it's, it's an interesting uh, look back on where my game development mind was over the last, like, 10 years. Uh, oh, like, 15 years now, actually, <sighs> uh, that I've been working on it off and on for 15 years. So uh, I, I think I might just release that to the public and see what happens. But that's about it. And while I play Cosmic's real game on another stream, yes, if I get a real game to play on another stream, although this was totally legit, the one that I just played, yeah, I would absolutely uh, play another one. So that is it. Thank you all. And if I don't see you or talk to you, or even if I do, have a Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Rockin' Kwanzaa, uh, Tolerable Festivus, and a Happy New Year! Bye, everybody!